I'm here to help anybody who's having trouble with the premium sound system on a Fox body. I have an 87 LX and uh, I've been scouring forums for the last few days because some people are saying you'll get the four speakers only. Some people know I got all six. It all depends if you do the amp bypass, which you remove the amp, but you have a square looking plug that bypasses the actual amp and you get all six speakers. I did the whole non amp situation. I pulled everything out, pulled out the wire harness, then up behind the glove box, you have the original factory OEM power and speaker wires. I plugged into that. I only had the four speakers, the two in the back and the two on the dash. I wanted the two door speakers and I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. No one had a definitive answer. I couldn't find anything. I read a bunch of forums. Some people said it worked for me. Some people said it didn't. I finally found something late last night and you're supposed to use the amp bypass. Go figure. I should have done that from the beginning, but I was, I wasn't sure because I'm like, I don't want the amp. I wasn't sure. So anybody look for a video or something to help them out here. It is real quick. I have everything in front of me so you can understand what I got. So here we have the amp that sits behind the radio on my 87. I believe up to 92 it is behind the radio. 93 it's under the seat. Now I could be wrong, but I'm, but hey, correct me if I'm wrong. So here's my premium sound, but I guess for the 80s it was okay, but nowadays you need something a little better. And there's the removal tools I didn't use. I got it from Crutchfield with my radio. They gave me the whole kit. I'm up in Canada. So I got the wire harness for free. I got the install kit. I got the removal tools, but I just took it out with two hangers a few days before ordering my stuff, not, not knowing I was gonna get a full removal kit and everything. So here are the harnesses from Crutchfield. Here's a non-premium speaker connection. Here is the power, and here is the amp bypass if you have the premium. And then I got my Kenwood connection on that side. Anyways, so I had this guy in place of this guy, and I had these two running, four speakers worked, I couldn't get the other two. I'm like, well, let me try this thing because I read people said, yes, I got it. Yes, I didn't, but they didn't confirm had they used the bypass kit or not. So I went and did this and I got all six speakers working for a 1980 system. It's pretty decent. I mean, I just want something I can listen to and take phone calls. So I got a Bluetooth system, but I'm just looking to listen to the car more or less. So here we got everything inside real quick. Fairly good condition my car, I hope. I don't know what you guys think. So here you are. You're not gonna use the speaker, obviously. You're gonna use just the power from this original harness. And up in here, you got the amp harnesses. One will fit and one will not. This one should fit, this one will not fit. So this one bypasses the amp. All the speakers go in here and you get all six speakers. And again, you're only using the power off of this and not this guy here. And I had taken off this guy just to reach up inside to take off the original harness, which I shouldn't have. And I took out a vacuum line, which ran underneath here, all up inside there. So be careful guys, just a heads up, okay? All right guys, here we go. Here's my head unit. This is the dash kit that came free from Crutchfield. When you order the stereo, they send you everything, like I said before. They even send you the mounting screws to put your head unit on there. Um, this pocket's nice for anything you want to put, but try to find something rubberized to put in there because it's slippery. And you will not need the sleeve that comes on your head unit, which is this guy here, because there's no tabs or anything to tie into. So like, you just got to screw into there. As well as the bezel, this guy here, you're not going to need either because the faceplate that comes with the kit covers it all up. All right, and you're going to screw that through those four holes there into your center console four screws to give you all the hardware so once that's done you should be good um, mine came with the mic so put that there hopefully it works we'll see all right it's installed bezels in it looks clean it's i don't know if it's a head unit maybe it's a little too big so the the side panels of the metra install kit kind of bowed a bit so i had a little piece of steel behind here like a I guess the support and it just grazed it and it was a little hard to get in and out but uh yeah no it, it fit nice my hand was behind there pulling the cables adjusting it and i put the mic for the hands free here uh, i did a test run with a call it seems to work fine uh all six speakers are half decent for speakers from 1987 um it's still loud enough obviously uh i don't see myself playing any music right now to show you because of copyright laws and all that i'm not going to get into but it works great and i hope this helps someone out there in my situation 
because it took me a few days to get everything working but all six speakers run and it sounds good so hope this helps thanks guys hit that like button